So welcome everyone to another Monday meetup here on uh, Monday, March the 8th with Chantelle Gringas, a business counselor from Pero. And uh, Pero is a networking and funding group for women. And um, Chantelle is gonna tell us a little more this evening about the group and about opportunities available for Pero circles and how to become more involved uh, with the group in general. Chantal, welcome. Okay, thank you. Um, it's like Angela was saying, I'm with Pero. Um, and our first slide here says, I am ready, because that's what Pero was, it, it means. It's Latin for I am ready. Um, so let's get right into the presentation and just interrupt me if you've got questions as I, as I go. Um, we'll leave it pretty, pretty informal. Um, We're a pretty informal group, so that'll suit us okay. just fine. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so peril has been around since 1995. We have the same CEO we had back then. So uh, Rosin Lockyer has been at the helm since, since then. Um, and we're really about helping empower and grow small and medium businesses. Are there any businesses that you tend to find are more common? than others? Uh, no, we, we have a pretty wide range that we that we work with. Um, mm -hmm. We have lots of staff. So I'm full time for for Peril, but we also have what we call business growth advisors who work um, usually three to five days a month for Peril. And then they have their own businesses that they work full time so that they're with those we kind of rely on as our industry experts. We have some in um, some that are that are in coaching, some that are in uh, the food business. Um, so we've got we've got lots of a wide range of expertise on the team. <laughs> um, so I don't need to read our our mandate word for word here, but just basically, what we're what Pero is here to do, like I said, is is here to help small and medium businesses. Um, we have programs that we we run and peer lending circles. And I'll go into detail about that in, in a couple of slides here. Um, and the other big thing is networking. That's what I know lots, lots of women come to us just for, for networking and making connections. And then you have access to, to business counselors like myself or the business growth advisors, like I just mentioned, to support you. Um, even if you just need to, to vent, or you're not sure something, any question large or small, because I've never done that with you ever. <laughs> I went through um, four great webinars uh, with Pero that were fantastic um, about branding, marketing, social media, um, financial management for your company, so that you do offer some really good opportunities, not only for networking, but as you mentioned, for business development. Yeah, we're, absolutely. We're and those, those webinars are open to men and women. Um, oh, I didn't lots, know that. Of, lots of our services are geared just to women, but the, the right. learning, the, the webinars are, are open to everybody. Nice. Um, so this just goes through where, where Pero is. So we're all across Ontario. Um, and actually only recently, mostly through the, through the pandemic, we've made our way, we kind of avoided Toronto, but now we've been People have been begging us to come in, so we've just hired somebody in a, it, it to, to take care of Toronto clients for us, and we, we've moved into there too. Yes, great. <laughs> You'll see on this map. So I, I'm actually in this number five red zone here in the in Marathon, so halfway between Thunder Bay and Sault Ste. Marie, so way up in uh, in northern Ontario here. Mm -hmm. But with Zoom, we can work with clients. Doesn't matter where they are. <laughs> And you, you live in Northern Ontario. Are you living in that region? I'm in, yeah. So I live in that number five, almost uh, right where the five, the five is. <laughs> oh, wow. How neat. Okay. Yeah. So right on, uh, on Lake Superior. I, I've really, really enjoyed seeing the range of women, like so many okay. different lifestyles and so many different backgrounds. I was really surprised. So that was really something. That's, that's that, one of like, the things I really like so much about Pero is there's such a diverse background of of businesses, of women, of of age groups, of you know knowledge, of everything. So it's a, it's a really nice network. 
Um, so some of this is, is a little bit repetitive, but basically Paro's here to help you right from the moment you have an idea about your business right to when you're ready to retire your business and everywhere in between. Um, so that could be networking. It could be helping with your, your funding. So either finding what the funding opportunities are out there for you or helping write those business, the writing the funding grants and writing your business plans if you need that. Mm -hmm. um, so there's kind of a few areas that we, we fall into. So developing your business, like I mentioned, so that supports like your, your business plan, business counseling, workshops, um, and networking. Once you've got your business, you're ready to grow. We're still there to help you with that. So that could be coming up with your procurement plan, could be supports to, to work on your productivity. I know that's a big one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then connecting you with our Paro circles and getting you into a circle. It was really interesting. I reached out to you for some help with um, digital media marketing and some help with um, some growth planning. Mm -hmm. And you were right there with uh, resources for me, which I was surprised that you had so many options to say, oh, I know your business and these are all the people that I think you might be able to connect with. So it was something that I really appreciated that you took the time to dig into my business and understand it very well. And then also had the ability to match people that could help so that I didn't have to start the search from scratch. That was great. Absolutely. We understand, you know, business, the business women um, are busy, right? So we try to take take at least some of that work off of you and in searching those those opportunities and much appreciated um, yeah going through trying to find which ones actually do fit fit your business mm -hmm. um, so this is our just a post about our, our glow and grow series which is our our wednesday webinar so every wednesday we have two webinars at one at 11 one at uh 12 15. they're completely free um Angela mentioned some of the topics that she's been to. They are all business related. So I know a lot through the pandemic have been a lot about um, mental health and how to get through the pandemic um, with your mental health intact. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots on marketing, on sometimes if there's a new funding announcement, we'll have the, the funder come in and tell us about, about the funding that's, that's there. Um, and then just general about bookkeeping or marketing or anything like that. Um, and these are done lots of times by Paro staff, but lots of times we'll bring in uh, outside expertise in those, in those fields too. One of the things I really liked about the webinars is listening to all the questions and watching mm -hmm. the chat because you can just learn so much about the women on the webinar by watching what their questions are. And so that it was really interesting to realize that you're not alone. There's a lot of people who are asking the very same questions that you have or you never thought to ask. So just by attending the webinar, you can build a network because you could contact people that you're seeing asking particular questions, which was great. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I did mention the time, but they are recorded, right? So if you can't, you can't be there live, you can always access them. The email address is, is on the screen there. Mm -hmm. um, and the list of topics is always right on our, our website. So just paro.ca and you can find, find the list there. Okay, now we come to the to the heart of of Paro. So Paro, when we first began, we started with this idea of these peer lending circles. Um, and you'll see in this little chart here, the circles, the values really are that bringing women together, cooperating together, um, building a support network, and building some ownership of that of that circle. On top of that, it does give you access to some, some micro loans. Um, so lots of people will join a circle because of the micro loan, loan, but they'll stay in their circle the entire time they're, they're in business because of the, the networking and the support that they get from that circle. Um, so how do they work? You're going to come up with a group of four to seven women. And this program is, is only women for the circles. Uh, they are self-selected. So Paro's not going to go and pick those women for you. We will absolutely help you make connections and meet other women that can be in that circle with you. Um, they, 
cannot be like your direct family. So your mom, your sister, your daughter, something like that. Um, and they can be someone in business that's planning to be in business, any, anything. So it's just about women helping women. And you're going to make a commitment to each other that you're going to meet every month. Um, and before the pandemic, we always said these circles had to be within your community. We always pictured you had to meet, meet these, this group face to face. Now, since the pandemic, we've opened that up. So you can have your circle members anywhere across Ontario. And to me, when you're picking your circle members, what's most important is that you're going to find a group of women that you're comfortable chatting with. So you're going to meet with them every month. Everyone's going to have a chance to talk about what their, what their business is, um, talk about their struggles a little bit. So you want to be, have a group that you're open with um, and a group that, that can teach you. So that doesn't mean the, the women in your group are all going to be all in, in business for 10 years. A brand new businesswoman can teach you a lot too, but it just makes sure it's people that you, you have a connection with, that you're going to be comfortable with and that you think you can learn from. Um, and I you, talked about the why, oh, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, can you move yeah. between groups? Maybe you, you realize, whoops, I, I didn't, I didn't choose well, or I, I now realize that I need to go a little left or a little right of, of the women that I've found, or is that you frowned can. upon? So, no, no. Um, so there, there is some documents you've got to fill out when you first create your circle. So once you've got a circle made, the circle itself will always be there. The members can change. So you can come and you can come and go from a circle. You can join a different circle. If like you said, you find the one you joined or created um, isn't quite the right fit for what you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. So basically, like I said, you are going to have a couple documents you've got to fill out. The first one just being um, a client intake form which just puts you on, on client on Paro's database. Um, Paro being a not, not for profit, we have funders that we, we need to answer to. So the, that kind of information just goes to them and creates our, our stats for them. Then you're going to also have some bylaws you'll need to create with their circle. There's a template for that. It's fairly easy to go through. Once you have your circle created, you've gone through those documents you now can get your circle loan. And I think there's a, a slide coming up next about the, the loans in more detail. Um, and then you're going to, you're, there is a cost for apparel membership for a circle, which is just $20 a year, which gives you access to those micro loans. And you will need to come up with a emergency fund, which I'll explain again in a, in a minute. So here is the, the loans you can get. And we use non-repayable portion, which lots of places will call a grant. So just to think of it, you get a thousand dollars loan, 500 is non-repayable, you keep that. Um, so the first stage is a thousand. You have nine months to pay it back and your, your payment is $60 a month. Yeah, in your second stage, it's 2,000, which 1,000 being non-repayable. In stage three and four, there is no longer a non-repayable non portion. It is just grant, but it gives you access to that money. Um, and unlike lots of funding programs out there, this funding you can use for anything you'd like. It's basically going to be your circle that decides whether or not you get that, that funding. So you're going to go to your circle, tell them your idea. Um, I need stage one funding because I need a, a new computer um, or because I need, need, need inventory. Those are two things that lots of people have a hard time finding a funding program for. In the circle, there's, there's no problem. You use whatever you want. Um, the other benefit is there's no, there's no credit checks. There's nothing like that. It's all, all in your circle. And that's where the emergency fund comes in, um, I think. So there isn't a slide on the emergency fund, but the, the emergency fund basically is just that backup, just in case um, you default on one of your payments, there is the amount 
there's one payment per loan that's out in that emergency fund, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So if you have all four of your members um, are, have a first stage loan out, you need at least $60 per, for each of those members, just in case something happens. Um, and there's different ways to, to get that emergency fund. Some, some circles will just put that amount in the, into their bank account. Um, others will do some fundraisers to grow their, their emergency fund. So it's up to you how, you how you do that. And you mentioned you have to go stage by stage. You do have to go in, go in order. Right, that makes sense. So you repay one stage and establish that credibility and then yeah. move on to the next one, right? Exactly. Um, and once you reach stage four, you can do stage four as many times as you want. So just because you've done all four doesn't mean you're done. You could get that, that last, that last oh, exactly. loan as many times as you'd like. So you don't start back over again and work no. your way. So once, no, exactly. So once you made it to stage four, you're at stage four. <laughs> okay. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's on the circles. Um, is there any questions on, on that part? I know it's okay. So if anyone ever decides to make a circle, what I usually suggest is once you've come up with your, your four to seven members, um, you'd have myself or another pair of staff meet with you guys and go through the documents that I mentioned that are required and kind of go more in detail about um, what what your monthly meetings might look like. Um, and then just very briefly, so Paro Presents is a store that we have in Thunder Bay. So we do have a storefront and this is made up of products from our Paro clients. So if you had a product you wanted in our store, there's a small um, intake form to fill out for that. It gets vetted by our head office in Thunder Bay and they would put your stuff in the in the store. I think I remember seeing this. How long has the store been around for? You know what? I'm not sure exactly. It's been around quite a while though. Wow. So it is very possible you've seen it. Huh. I used to do some work with Lakehead. So I was up in Thunder Bay okay. quite a bit. So I'm sure I wandered in there. That's okay. I didn't realize this. Yeah, yeah. So it's a great way, um, especially for the clients that are closer to Thunder Bay, it might be a little bit easier to get their their stuff in there. But mm -hmm. um, great, great way to, to promote your your stuff a little. It's not a huge store, mm -hmm. um, but it gives you a little bit more more presence without mm -hmm. needing your own storefront. <laughs> That's a really great idea. Do you have people that kind of ship from anywhere? Or is that something that's possibly a bit new that people might ship things yeah, from I, I would say most of most of the stuff in there is from Thunder Bay and region but it absolutely if you if you wanted to ship stuff in there that could be absolutely arranged hmm. and then you've just got our contact information here so um, mine's the bottom at the marathon office there mm -hmm. And our different social media. Um, so like I, I mentioned our Wednesday webinars and all of our events, those are always posted on our, our social media as well. So that's probably the easiest way to see what's coming up. Like I mentioned, we are not for profit. So here's, we're funded by the government of Canada, government of Ontario. And here are some of our, our key partners that we work with. Um, and we are the Ontario member of the Win Women Entrepreneurship Knowledge Hub. Um, so they've got uh, their Canadian, Canadian company and connecting women in uh, businesses all across Canada. And that is all I've got for my presentation. So if you've got uh, questions for me, comments, um, maybe I'll pop my email into the chat here so you guys if you didn't have any if you want to connect with me you can do that um you'll what was see that? my background here i've got our our event coming up in may so that's an um an award and the conference that we do um so the agenda is not out yet but i can tell you our keynote speaker is mary walsh um so nice. 
<laughs> nice and well-known comedian in, yeah. in Canada. So we're very excited that we'll have, have her speaking to us on that day. Um, and that's probably, it's our, usually we would have this event in Huntsville every year. Um, this year, of course, going to be virtual. <laughs> Hopefully next year we can come back to Huntsville again. But um, in the meantime, this, this gives a, women across Ontario one spot they can, at least everyone will, will have a spot they can come to without having to travel to Huntsville. Um, yeah. Nice. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. The, the group you mentioned, Women Entrepreneurs, what was that? Knowledge Hub. Knowledge Hub. Yeah. There are so uh, They go by WEC, so W-E-K-H is their, the acronym. Got it. Thank you. That's great. Any questions, Christiani or Mark? Nope, nope. That was great. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, Christiani. No, I was just gonna say, yeah, it's kind of nice to have um, that kind of organization. I didn't, I didn't know there was something like that. So it is kind of nice to have, you know, groups come together and kind of discuss um, issues, especially for uh, women in business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and usually, I would say those those circle meetings, Paro just leaves you guys to it like you don't necessarily have paro staff at it they tend to be an informal chat like you guys are having right now um lots of the groups will have it you know over a glass of wine or whatever whatever they feel um so some are more informal others you know depending on the on your personality some keep them do a pretty formal business too but yeah. no, it's it's great i thought it was so ingenious to watch the microloan process uh, mm -hmm. And I've, I've seen it before, I've been involved in it before, but from um, a business group, a uh, business networking group, rather than from like a, a, a women's networking group, it was a different environment. So it's really interesting to see how that works. And I know there's a lot of people in, in our networks who have been very underemployed over the past year. So as I was mentioning to you earlier, they are looking for options, but they they just don't understand how to get the funding to get some of the equipment that they might need in order to to do some video. Or you know maybe there's a lot of people thinking about well I kind of want to try my hand at podcasting, which is mm -hmm. one of Mark's fortes, and uh, he has a podcast called Two Massage Therapists and a Microphone, which is amazing. So it's a lot of fun to listen to his chats. And a lot of people are really curious to say, well, I wonder who else I could reach and talk about what I love if I was able to do that. So having some resources for, for people to connect and, and do that is, uh, it really gives them the leg up that they need rather than going through a formal um, loan application at a bank where you're not really looking for a large amount of money. Um, so that um, becomes something that can be challenging. Yeah, exactly. Because I think um, for those smaller amounts, it's lots of times hard to find that find that loan, even though you you need it just as much as those big loans. Yes, that's right. That's um, right. Sometimes you just need that little bit of a boost. So yeah, it's exactly helpful. that little bit of a confidence to you know because it's once you get those the loan is very quick, um, easy. You have just got to convince, like I said, you've just got to convince the women that you've already convinced to be in your circle with to, to approve <laughs> you. So you've right. already got them in your group chances are they're not going to say no to you to, to get the loan yeah right right exactly exactly well thanks again everyone i appreciate you coming out this evening and we'll post this in the group so that um, everyone else can meet chantelle and and take a look at the presentation and then chantelle if there's any questions i'll uh, reach out to you and um, make sure that they get answered for us yeah absolutely thank you for having me wonderful Thanks, everyone. See you next week. Bye. Bye.